Welcome everyone, you may be in a situation where you're trying to connect to the internet on your Nintendo Switch OLED and you're unable to. So you may get some errors, unable to connect to the network device, all that good stuff. I'm going to show you how to fix it. So what you want to do, go to internet, tap on internet settings, and then we'll just wait for this to load. And you want to select the Wi-Fi of choice. So we're going to do a bit of a messing around. So we'll just tap on this one right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to tap on change settings. We're going to scroll down and I want you to find right here DNS settings. Tap on this one, set this to manual. And then primary DNS, I want you to set this to 1.1.1.1. So 1.1.1.1. Uh, so you can see right here. For some reason the touchscreen is horrible on this console. But just tap on OK. Make sure that the primary DNS is like that. Tap on save. OK. And then connect to this network. See if things work. For me it's going to work because I've already fixed the issue. But you can see. Boom, successfully connected. If this didn't work, well, let's do some more troubleshooting. So what I want you to do is if you're trying to connect and it takes a really long time, then it gives you an error. What I want you to do is get your Switch OLED and bring it right next to the router, right? So the router is what broadcasts the internet signal. I want you to go to that router, go next to it, just find it in the house. It will be somewhere. And what you want to do is try again. If that still doesn't work, then you just want to check another device, right? See right here, so I have this iPad. I'm able to connect to the internet on my iPad uh, right next to the router. If you are unable to still, then that means the issue is, you know, your internet. Otherwise, if you're able to connect to the internet on, let's say, your iPad or your phone or your Android, whatever, but you're unable to connect on the switch, what that means is you entered in the passcode incorrectly. So if that's the case, tap on this, change settings, enter password and entering the passcode incorrectly the touch screen is like really glitchy it's like sometimes you will like type and it won't actually register so just keep that in mind there is also the show option right here so you can just double check that you did enter in the correct password and just enter it in tap on save and then try again and that should fix the issue if that still doesn't fix the issue then a couple of more things you can try uh, before you go to the, the extreme measures is what you can do is you can just uh, force restart your Nintendo Switch. So hold down the power button and when you hold it down, you should see this power menu. Tap on power options and restart and then you can just restart your Nintendo Switch and that hopefully will fix the issue. If that still doesn't fix the issue, what that means is your Switch is faulty. So if you have the 30 day return window, just return it, get a new one. If that uh, isn't the case and you can't return anymore, then file a warranty claim on Nintendo's website. Just go on Google, search up Nintendo Switch warranty claim and you'll be able to file a warranty. Uh, if you bought this used from eBay, can you know, get a refund, stuff like that. Because what that means is the Switch is faulty. Because if you can connect to the internet on every other device, you've you know assured uh, that the password's correct, then that means that the switch is the issue and you're just going to have to get ready for replacement. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.